This is an exciting time for the Canada Science Technology Museum Corporation as we look forward to launching the new Canada Science Technology Museum this fall. By the time it reopens in November 2017, a mere three years will have elapsed. This, as anyone will tell you, is nearly unheard of timeline to decontaminate, empty, demolish a building, then rebuild and update the entire National Museum and its contents. The renewed Canada Science Technology Museum will feature 10 brand new highly interactive exhibitions, among them From Earth to Us, Steam, A World in Motion, Technology in Our Lives, Medical Sensation and Zoom. Visitors' favorites will return, including a refreshed Crazy Kitchen and the museum's collection of steam locomotives. In addition, the museum will be showcasing its outstanding collection in the new Artifact Tower, which will use augmented reality to connect with museum visitors. Other important features of the new museum will include a demonstration stage, classrooms, and a makerspace. We're also working on the plans and design for a new collection conservation center to properly house and maintain the National Science and Technology Collection. A plan is currently in the works to develop a center into a shared facilities in consultation with the Canadian Conservation Institute and the National Gallery of Canada. The long-term vision for the center is to expand as needed as the corporation's collection of Canada's scientific and technological heritage grows. There's just as much to celebrate at the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum and the Canada Aviation and Space Museum. Both institutions have continued to innovate along with Canada Science Technology Museum when it comes to engaging with visitors across Canada and around the world. One of the key ways in which our three museums connect with visitors is through exhibitions on site, online and traveling. This past year, exciting new exhibitions and displays were, of course, presented at the museums and on our website, but they also traveled as far afield as the Northwest Territories, Nunavut and Mexico City. We have also continued to develop new educates. These are made available to teachers across the country. These ever popular resources help teachers present scientific principles from circuitry to principles of flight in an engaging way. I'm pleased to say that with the help of sponsors, we have been able to send educates to distant schools in northern communities as far as Nunavut. In addition, the educates, the museum offers a wide range of educational tools online, tailor-made to support Canadian curricula. And as benefits of organizations focused on technological innovation, we're also active in the digital world. This year, we produced highly popular apps on First World War flying aces and bees, introducing players to solid scientific and historical content in a fun way, in a space in which they feel comfortable. Equally important when it comes to digital innovation is a corporation's Open Heritage Initiative, which makes our collections and documents readily available online. Rounding out our efforts to engage with Canadians, wherever they may be, we have continued to create stories for innovation150.ca. In addition, we loan artifacts across the country and around the world and have taken our science mobile to a number of locations. We have also launched publications, produced discussion panels and delivered conferences, presentations both nationally and internationally. Partnerships also continue to be mainstay of everything we do. Without partners, today's museum would not be able to deliver as many programs and services as they do. In addition to support from Canada's government and other federal institutions, we work with a wide range of corporations, companies and individuals. A complete list is provided in the sponsorship and partnership section of this report. Science and technology haven't always felt welcoming to certain sectors of society. Chief among these are women and girls. As a result, we are currently trying to make science, technology, engineering and math STEM, a more attractive option to this half of our population. We are doing this through videos and upcoming documentary series on women's scientific and technological achievements. We have established a STEM-themed fellowship at the University of Ottawa, and we are researching content for a women in STEM traveling display, while also continuing to network with other stakeholders. In an effort to engage Indigenous peoples and showcase their ingenuity, we have undertaken consultations on collaborative research, collection development, and exhibitions. This has resulted in integration of Indigenous elements in our galleries, and the exploration of potential exhibitions and other initiatives on topics such as Indigenous astronomy and Algonquian cuisine. Youth are another important focus. They are the future of science and technology, and we continue to encourage their interest and engagement. In addition to developing compelling programs and tools, often direct input from youth, we have launched an Innovation Influencers Group. We have also created the STEAM Horizon Award program 
designed to support youth education in science and technology. And we continue to engage with youth on their own terms through apps, social media, and recent Facebook Live events on climate change. The future remains bright for the corporation as three outstanding museums. From physical renewals to new ways of delivering content, our museums remain at the cutting edge of what's possible. Some of this innovation was spearheaded by our former president and CEO, Alex Benet. As we look ahead, it will be a pleasure to continue on the projects and initiatives he has set in motion, while also continuing to innovate as we share Canada's remarkable scientific and technological heritage with the wider world.